Okay, I'm here to give you a quick demonstration of the new OSD menu that's on all L series cameras that are above 480 TVL. So if it's 540, 600, 700, 650, either as long as it's above 480, it'll have this new OSD toggle uh, on it. Now I'm here to demonstrate the menu to you. I'm not going to go into in depth detail of every single option, that's up to you to change it and uh, have a fiddle around with it yourself just to show you how to use it and get to grips with it. Now the first thing that I must mention is that it really helps with any situation that you're putting a camera in so it really opens up your options so if you've got like a dark room and you think that oh, I could open that shutter up a bit more or anything like that you know you can mess around with it and it, it like I say it opens up doors for you anyway let's get on with it now with the toggle on mine as you can see I'll show it you in front of the camera now that's what the toggle it comes on the lead itself so you've got the BNC and DC input there as usual with the toggle here. Now to select things, you push it in, it also brings it up, left, right, up, down, push in to select. I'll now show you all that now. So if we push mine in, it brings up the menu. Now this menu is quite simple, like I say, down to go down, up to go up. Now left and right generally change options. So let's say we've got um, lens is manual. Now you see it doesn't have any icons next to it on the word manual itself. If we flick it to auto, see how there's a return icon on it now. Back to manual, it's not there. Auto, yes, it's there. That means that you can push in the enter um, button on your toggle, and it'll bring up your bring you up some options. So let's press that now, and see brings up some uh, more options because on manual uh, we couldn't actually bring these options up. So let's go back. The return, obviously, if you go down to return, press enter take you back let's bring it back so we've got two pages let's click next and that brings up another page of options that you can mess around with like language even the ID this is a very very interesting thing I like this uh, it allows you to name the camera but it comes up on the camera itself so if you're not using a DVR like I'm not now I've not got this camera plugged into a DVR it's simply straight into a display with a recording device in the middle uh, little digital record it so it's not in a DVR uh, this has nothing to do with the DVR itself so let's just change that to I don't know let's just put some random letters there okay so if we put that there now go to position I'm gonna put mine there just to be inconvenient okay let's put it yes leave it there press enter again return let's go to save all now to save all you need to highlight it push the toggle in like I just have done even though nothing actually happens you push the toggle and it'll save your settings exit now I've got that little icon there now if I don't want it or I've changed some settings and I'm not sure what I've changed then if you go onto the next page you can reset the camera so let's give that a go camera reset that's all settings have been back to default so now we go to save all again exit everything's back to normal just as it was when it came out the box so let's go into a bit more detail now. If you go next, I'm just going to demonstrate one of the options to you that will come in uh, really handy for you. Let's go back. Um, if we change the shutter, if we go on here, we can change that this is on um, this is on auto. So let's change mode. So it's that's that's, uh, that's yeah. Now that we can't change that. That's short. So we can adjust the brightness a bit, which is good because I've got the camera facing towards a wall and it's actually quite dark. So if we bring that brightness up, we can see a lot more. Well, uh, that gets a bit silly, but you see what I mean. You can really adjust the cameras, which is really good. I mean, in daytime, you find if there's a lot of shadows with a, just a basic camera, you might not be able to see a lot. Now with this, you plug in the OSD, get to the OSD, bring the brightness up a little bit and simply return save all and exit now this menu applies to every single camera no matter what shape as long as the L series above 480 TVL you'll have the same on-screen display okay so I hope that clears that up a little bit for you